So I decided to try the licensed cars game for the GameCube again for the first time in years and I streamed it at- <laughs> As I kept playing, I started remembering how many things just don't add up in this franchise. It started with a pretty simple question based on how a lot of NPCs respond to Lightning McQueen in the game. Oh my God. Hello. Hi. Why do they all act like that? Is it because Lightning McQueen is like a huge hot shot? Is it just a whole bunch of fangirls like- Oh man, this is a pun. What happens when cars get horny? Their oil level like just goes into overdrive. Well, that innocent little question took us down a ginormous rabbit hole. Cars born in this universe? That's a great question. This movie is so flawed. I knew something about this always bugged me. I remember near the end of the film, there's a shot where it's like the big audience, right, watching this race. And there's two parent cars and a baby car. And I remember even as a 10 year old being like, Nani? So how does this all work? That drove me crazy. Do cars have organs? If they function and are built exactly how cars are in our world, then how on earth do cars show up? What's the reproductive system of a car? Because Pixar and Disney? That's a horrible explanation. Pixar made Toy Story, which was one of the coolest ideas of like all animation film of the past 25 years. Blame Lasseter? Again, how does that make sense? He directed Toy Story. Like, I guess this was just not, this wasn't his day. Bugs Life was directed by Lasseter? All films that like find a perspective on like creatures or things, but how they react and work with the world that we already know. Do cars die? Or do they just get rusty and destroyed? Do they get in a car accident and that's it? Maybe it's just it's the engine stops working and they never wake up again? I suppose so, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's like how a car does kind of have a shelf life regardless. Like they killed a car in Cars 2 actually implies that murder exists. So there's car serial killers too. This is my favorite part of the game so far, for sure. The engine is the car's brain, the battery, the car's heart. So is oil like car blood? Do the tires ever get bad? Tires are like the shoes, right? Made her a car organ harvester. Cause like where he lives has car parts all over. Oh no. Yeah, that's like, that's like somebody like having like a yard full of body parts. That's, mm, that's the kind of stuff that the most famous serial killers would do, right? So they definitely tested that. What if a rock goes through their windshield? Well, I guess it's the same of if you got stabbed in the eye. Now you're debilitated in that eye, unless somehow they can fix it. Hey, 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 they're groupies. I didn't understand the reference until like a year ago that they straight up flash Lightning McQueen at the beginning and he enjoys it. So there is technically, see right there. Clearly there is car sexuality. They get turned on. What justifies a car being a woman or a man? The key purpose of different genders is the reproductive system. The reproductive system is simply based on there's a dude and a girl. So why are there dude and girls in this? What implies them being a dude or girl? Wouldn't it just be an it? Cars don't have genders, they have models. Your car sexuality is dictated on which type of car you like, i.e. I'm Ford sexual, <laughs> I'm attracted to Fiat. <laughs> what if a Porsche is born made somewhere else? Are they still German? Yeah, is it racism? Racism, oh my God. That's something they totally could have been like, and the moral of this story is don't be racist. And it's just based on like cars hating other manufactured cars. Which brings up the question, how are there manufacturers? Who manufactures them? The, why are these, there are these brands? Ugh. Uh, and here's the other thing in the in the movie lightning like catches how she's got like a butt tattoo So clearly they have like a butt and it's like she was embarrassed about it Clearly they have like tinies that they don't want to be showing the groovy chick has a convertible top Is that like a hat or a detachable scalp? My assumption is what they were trying to imply is like they're more risque in their clothing And that's why they're convertible But yeah, that doesn't really help because then if this is their eyes and that would assume this is their head right groupies are no match for the real thing wait wait hold on did she say groupies are no match for the real thing hold the phone did she just say groupies are no comparison for the real thing what the frick did I play I'm dumb I can't I can't I retire there's drugs there's drugs in this in this world too because of the freaking hippie and he says the 60s weren't good to him so we have the same history. Okay, so going by that logic, that means everything that's happened in history has happened in Cars World. That means Stalin, the car, exists. That means Hitler, the car, exists. Oh I'm not, um, I don't know how I feel about this. There's a car, Jesus. Jesus Chrysler. 
<laughs> so obviously Adolf Hitler would have to be as a car. He would have to be like Twitch is gonna ban me for this. Well, he's got to be German car. Would he be a Porsche? He could be like a Beamer SUV, Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagens are too nice though. They're too cute. Other cars pay tax. Yeah, what's their government system? Carpitalists. <laughs> what car would Trump be? What if they worship Harrison Ford because he created the first assembly line? Harrison Ford. I believe Harrison Ford is the guy that um played Indiana Jones. What's your car Sona? Oh no. <laughs> All cars are created equal in the eyes of Henry Ford. Henry Ford is the creator of cars. Therefore, people worship Henry Ford like there's a whole religion. Are their buttholes their exhaust pipe or is that their PP place? Are Teslas like millennials? I would say Teslas are Gen Z. Yeah, they're vegans. They're definitely vegans. They do have realistic tongues. Oh no. They've got realistic tongues, which means that there are some human organs, right? Do you think cars have leaks if they go through car puberty? What do you mean leaks? <laughs> I think that's about as much of this as I can take. The biggest issue with this movie is that as opposed to what made Toy Story so great and Bugs Life and all of those, where they pretty much came up with an idea based on what's the perspective of looking at these characters or this machine and how they would think and live in our world, with cars, they just built the world around the cars as if humans don't exist at all. The film has no meaning. You could replace it with real people and it would change nothing, 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 nothing. The movie should have been around the fact that us as people live in the world. We put cars in certain situations. How do cars respond to that? Not replace all the people with cars. You know, I'm pretty sure the discussion of Cars Flawed Universe has been run to the ground by every critic and their mom. But I thought a lot of questions that were discussed here really quickly showed the lack of thought behind the world building. That said, I think it should be noted that when Cars released, Pixar was on a streak of incredible film after incredible film. Pretty much every movie they had made up to that point was an eight out of 10 at worst. What I'm saying is our standards for Pixar are understandably high, but realistically people are people and are bound to fail. So perhaps we should be easy on Cars. Because ultimately, Cars really isn't a bad movie. The animation is great, it graphically holds up really well, the voice acting is solid, the screenplay is good, the pacing is really nice, and the story and characters aren't bad. It's simply that, conceptually, its world crumbles the moment you begin to think about it. Simply put, its concept is just wasted potential, and that's what I think bothers so many people about it. Hey, be sure to follow me on Twitch to catch more of what you're seeing here, and actually check out my other YouTube channel. I'm very frequently uploading a lot of music stuff over there, as well as on my Twitter and Instagram. Thanks to all my patrons at Patreon and my subs over at Twitch for your support. It means a ton. And thanks for watching this video. Appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.